So, I forgot the name of the person. Somebody asked us on the video to give advice and to um tell us about tell them about previous relationship problems that we had in the past. So yeah. So I'm gonna tell this story, this badass experience I had in one of my old relationships. So, all right, before this was like this was like three years ago or something like that, two or three years ago, and I was talking to this boy. So around Christmas time, he had bought me a puppy. So I had like the puppy was mad, mad small, like OD small, like bottle kind of small. And I had a cat in my mom's house. So like when I would go outside, I would bring the the puppy usually. And if I was gonna stay out like all day, I would have like leave the puppy at his house. So I asked him to watch um the dog, and I had left him over there. So I went out all day. I was being a bad mom. <laughs> and I came back to get him at like one in the morning or something. And somebody else had let me in the boy's house. So I was talking to um his niece, let me in. So I go straight to his room, going to get my dog. And when I open his room door, he sleep in the bed. And then my puppy sleeping in the bed. And then his ex is in bed with him, with them. So... <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not his ex if she was in a bed, but, you know, what I thought was his ex. I don't know what to call her because she was in a bed. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, it was him and then the puppy in the middle and then the girl sleeping like a happy family. So, I'm like, what? And I know they was getting crazy that night because then I looked. Like, I didn't say anything. I was just mad quiet and they were still asleep. So, then I looked on the dresser. And it was liquor on the dresser. Like, they was drinking and just having a, a little party. And it was cheap, cheap liquor. It was like Georgie. Yeah. Anybody knows that's bum liquor. <clears throat> so, it was Georgie on the dresser. And it was in cups with, like, orange juice. So, I just poured the cup of Georgie on them. First, I picked my dog up from in between them. And then I poured Georgie on them. So, they woke up with Georgie in the face. And I was like, don't touch my dog, please, thanks. And then I just took my dog. So I walked out the room, and I'm talking to his niece. And she, of course, she knew, but she let me in the house. So I'm like, oh, he's crazy. I'm not talking to him anymore. But I'm not mad. Like, I don't care. I'm not wasting my time. So when I'm talking to her, my ear starts ringing. Because he ran down the hallway and smacked me in my ear. While I'm talking <laughs> to her. What? So I'm like... What? So my ear was ringing, and we was arguing, and then a girl came out the room, and she was like, do you want me to leave? And I'm like, what? No, bitch, move in. Like, she's like, do you want me to leave? She was asking you or him? I don't know. She didn't direct it, but bitch, you not innocent. Like, she came out, like she was mad innocent. She's like, do you want me to leave? Bitch, run a room. I don't know what I want you to do. <laughs> and... I was just over it, so I just left with my dog, and they probably kept having sex that night. I don't know what happened, but I was over it, and then I just stopped talking to him. Guys, play. That's why I hate boys, because y'all are disrespectful, always Too crossing disrespectful. the line. Like, why would you do that? Like, my ex that everybody keep asking me about, because we used to make videos on YouTube, the videos used to be mad funny and shit. I was cracking up when I made the morning video. Yeah, so... People keep asking us, me, asking me why we broke up. But no, the thing that makes me mad is people be like, what happened to your ex? I mean, what happened to your boyfriend that y'all used to make videos? Obviously, everybody see I got a new boyfriend. Obviously, we broke up. Like, what do they want me to say? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> like, before, like, I don't get that. <laughs> that he's gone. But everybody's like, but what happened? Me and him was going out for 13 months. And I later found out that he was playing me since we were together for like six months. So from six months, for the rest of the time we were together, he was playing me the whole time. That's why I can't deal with y'all, because y'all boys are trifling. Y'all birds. Trifling. Y'all, tri yes. Boys are birds. Boys are birds. Uh, you know what? I have another bird-ass story. <laughs> so I was talking to a different boy. This was like when I was like 16. So me... 
and my me and my friend, me and my two friends, matter of fact, the boy I was talking to was one of my friend's cousin. So me and my two friends was gonna go to the movies with him, and like I guess I'm his friends or whatever. So we're on the way to meet him, and he calls and he's like, "Forget it, forget it." But why would you say forget it when we really went away? So I'm like, "Oh, I guess he's going with another girl because it's kind of obvious I wasn't yeah. born yesterday." <clears throat> so long story short, we found out what movie theater he's at. So my friend was like, oh, let's go or whatever. Let's just go and see if he's with a girl. I was like, I already know he is. So she's like, let's go, let's go, whatever. She was driving. So we he was at this random ass movie theater downtown. Like, it wasn't even like a popular one. It was one like on the side street. So we got there at like one. And when we got there, the movies was closed. So I told the um lady who worked there that my little brother was in there by himself and I really had to get into the movies. I made up like a big story. So she was like, go ahead. So she let me pay her, like, pay her like it was for a ticket. And then she let me in. So we go in the movies. This is when Meet the Browns came out. And he's in the movies with a girl. Like, him and his friends are in there with girls or whatever. So we watched the movie. <coughs> when we get out, his friends are like, what are you doing here? They saw me. So I'm in the hallway, and a girl comes out. And I guess she didn't really know what was going on. So she's like... We is, you know, calling his name, like, asking his friends where he is. And they all just looking. Everybody's looking stupid. And she's, like, just like, where is he? Where is he? Mad loud. So then he comes out the um, movie. And we was, like, on the outside. And I was like, oh, that's your girlfriend? And he's just quiet. And she's just looking. And then she was with, like, this dyke girl. And then the dyke friend was, like, running her mouth a little bit, and then my friend started going off, and then, long story short, me and him started fighting, she got in a cab, somebody from the movies called the cops, but we was outside the movie theater, and, yeah, that was, like, long story short, I don't want to go into detail, Yo. but, that was ridiculous, that was trifling of him, I was young, you could tell, because nowadays, if I find out a boy's doing that, I'm not going to catch you at the movies. I'm just cutting you off. Basically. That's but I was 16, so, you know, I didn't know any better. And that was my first boyfriend. So, I don't, I didn't know. I yeah, didn't I know. so playful. But, though. boys, I can't take them. They're dumb, stupid. Trifling. Grimy. Greedy. Because, like, if you have a girlfriend, why do you want to talk to somebody else? Or just be single. And you can talk to whoever you want to talk to. That always works. I don't get it. Me either. But guys, you want to have somebody as your girlfriend because you don't want them to talk to anybody else, but you want to talk to other people. You're dumb gritty. That's why I don't like y'all. I just don't. That's why I hate y'all. I hate y'all a lot. I hate y'all more than Shannon hates y'all. But I don't hate my boyfriend that I have now. And I feel like, and cute boys, y'all are really playful. I don't like y'all cute boys. Because y'all don't know how to act. Y'all have no idea But how even to act. ugly boys don't know how to act. What well, a boy who... The boy who his... um He was with the girl in the bed. He was mad ugly. You see? And I was like, you got nerve. Like, he ugly was boys so ugly. And he was weird shaped. He was knock kneed. Like, his knees used to be like... Now I'm mad. And my mom was like, he can't come to my house being knock kneed like that. Sheesh, don't mind my ringer, guys. Next video.